want it, get it, don't ever give up, you got it, you want to make it, then chase it, no one can stop you, stop you, they're gonna hate you, hate you, but let them hate you, this fine, cause if they stand in your way, then you gotta leave them behind. Yo, what is going on guys? It is Sam Moore Burns and welcome to week 10 of the South Alabama Dynasty. We are doing some recruiting here, looking at our pretty slim recruiting class right now. We are ahead on a few guys, um, you know, putting a lot of points into those guys, trying to, you know, trying to steal the deal really. But you look at our commits so far, we have Victor Wilkinson as our biggest commit, the 75 overall athlete. And John Johnson, not far after him, a 72 overall outside linebacker. So that's what our, uh, you know, committed recruiting class looks like so far. But we do have some other prospects uh, potentially signing with us. So we're going to go ahead and look at the top stories. And you'll see another story about us. We've surprised the nation, really. Surprised myself. Uh, an 8-0 record has put us up to number 3 in the country. And it's kind of ridiculous as we go ahead and jump Notre Dame right there. Um, yeah, it's, it's crazy to think that we're number 3 in the country. Uh, and we jumped a team even though they didn't lose. So, we're into the top three. And realistically, the BCS National Championship is a huge possibility. As we only need one more team to lose for us to be in the top two of the BCS. We're number two in every single poll. The coaches, media, and BCS poll. Um, yeah, so, and, you know, it's, it's crazy to think that we're, we're right in the midst of the National Championship conversation. But we have a really tough game left in our schedule that um, I'm looking forward to, I know you guys are looking forward to, but I am very nervous for it. In week 13, we take on and have to travel to George, to Atlanta to take on the Georgia State Panthers, and that's definitely the toughest game left on our schedule. And there is a potential uh, rematch in the conference championship uh, between Georgia State and South Alabama. And, uh, not really, you know, it, it kind of depends on how the rest of the season goes, but if you look at the divisions, we're both on top of our division both 4-0 in the conference, the only undefeated teams in the conference. And so it, it could be a thing as we're going to go ahead and get into this game against Arkansas State. Big game, trying to get to 9-0. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Jaguars are really hitting their stride. Look, I know they have a winning streak going, but more importantly, they're starting to play at a very high level. The expectations are going to rise. They'll try to make sure their performance does the same. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football Pregame Show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. All right, so the number three Jaguars are home in Mobile with this week. Handing off to Jay Jones up the middle. He's going to go ahead and get four yards here as he's starting to finish out his college career. He's up to 872 yards rushing and 12 touchdowns. He's having another great year, uh, just like last year. It's not quite as good as last year. Yes, last year was his breakout year, but he's still having a solid season, much better than his sophomore season, which he really struggled. Only got about 800 yards and a few touchdowns. Just we struggled to run that ball this that um, you know that year and. We've definitely improved these past couple of years. Jay Jones has definitely improved, and he's he's turned him into a great back, and it's going to suck to see him leave after this year. As you go ahead and see, he gets a 16-yard gain right there. We're over halfway through this first quarter, and we still have no score, as Bilal Marshall is going to fire on the right side, and he is going to find Dejon Funderbunk. That's a 22-yard reception for Mr. Funderbunk, his first catch of the day. And Marshall is going to keep this one up the middle on the read option, and I'm running a new playbook now. I'm using Texas A&M's playbook. Uh, I had been using Boise State's playbook, but I am now using Texas A&M's playbook. I don't know. I'm playing with Texas A&M in an online dynasty, and I really like their playbook as Bilal Marshall gets 12 yards on the read option right there. He's up to 26 yards rushing, and now here on third down and goal, Marshall back to pass. He is going to fire on the right side for Billy Cooper on the screen, and Cooper into the end zone for a six-yard touchdown, and that is our 50th offensive touchdown on the season. Um, 
I think. I'm pretty sure that's the 50th offensive touchdown as it's set up there on the top. But we get the ball back in here. Up 7-0. And Bilal Marshall is going to break a big run right here on second down and two. He's going to get a big gain. He's up to 47 yards rushing. As you'll see at the end of the first quarter, we only got a 7-0 lead. But we've looked pretty good. Our defense hasn't really allowed them to do much of anything. Um, you know, they haven't gotten past our 50, I don't think. So second down and six. Marshall handing off to Jay Jones up the middle. He makes a couple cuts and he is down inside the 10 to about the five and a half yard line as a 13 yard rush for Jay Jones. He's up to 48 yards rushing. Now on first and goal, Bilal Marshall handing off to Jay Jones and he is into the end zone for the touchdown. His 13th rushing touchdown on the season. And that puts the Jaguars up 14 to nothing here with 638 remaining in the first half. As we're going to go ahead and move on. Third down and 10 now for Arkansas State. Rodgers is back to Pax. And Chandler Rodgers is going to fire deep. He's got a man. And he completes it. And that is J.D. McKissick. And he's going to get down inside the 10 to about the one-yard line. A 75-yard reception for J.D. McKissick. Now on second and goal, Chandler Rodgers is going to hand off to Gordon. Michael Gordon with the one-yard touchdown run and cuts this lead for two only seven points for South Alabama. As we're going to get the ball back with 527 remaining, Bilal Marshall is back to pass. He's going to find Jay Jones on the screenplay, and he's got some room up the right sideline, and he is going to go ahead and get a 14-yard reception right there. Good catch and run after the catch by Jay Jones. Now on third down and inches, handing off to Jones once again, and he is going to get that first down and a lot more as he's just shaking off tacklers, and the senior running back is showing why he is one of the best running backs in the country as he's now up to 83 yards rushing, averaging over 7 yards a carry. Now Marshall back to pass on 2nd and 5, and he's hitting the fumbles, and the lineman can't pick it up, and Arkansas State recovers for the first turnover of the day for either ball club, and that is the f one, that's one of the biggest problems with Bilal Marshall is he has fumbled a lot, but what can you do? 3rd down and 9, Chandler Rogers is going to find Gordon here, and he is going to not quite get the first down. He only gets 5 yards right there. So that brings up a fourth down and five. And here we go on the punt. Is going to be punting to uh, last year's Returner of the Year award winner, Kyle Clifford. And he's going to take this one from the 30-yard line. He's out across the 40. He's across the 45-50. 45-40. And he is tackled down at about the 32-yard line. That's a 37-yard return. Great return by Kyle Clifford. Is now on second and seven. Marshall's got some room up the middle. And he is down inside the 20-yard line to about the 14. That's a 16-yard gain, and now later in the drive, Marshall going to keep it on the read option, and that is a touchdown. South Alabama goes up 21-7 to here with a minute nine remaining, and we'll get a studio update as you see TCU with a 14-7 lead over number five Texas Tech. They don't have any, you know, we have the say on whether they pass us or not most likely. I mean, Texas Tech is undefeated, but it would be nice to see them go down, and that's one less team to worry about jumping us. I feel like we have a better track record than them. And then number one, Ohio State. This is a game that we're rooting hard for Penn State. We want to make the National Championship game, obviously, and if Ohio State loses, that would put us into the top two if we win this game. And they do trail right now 9-7 to with 2.04 remaining in the first half, so we'll keep an eye on that game. First down and 10, Chandler Rogers is going to be sacked, and it's intercepted right there by Ridge James, and he is going to go under touched into the end zone and just like that when it looked like um, Arkansas State was only going to go into the half down by 14 they're going into the half down by 21 Ridge James with the defensive touchdown big touchdown right there as we're going into halftime 28-7 is your score and South Alabama is doing what the number three team in the country should do and that is dominate the opponents especially when they are inferior and you know Arkansas State just hasn't played that well as you'll see 107 passing yards that outgains us, but only 10 rushing yards. They've only had the ball for a little less than four minutes, and they have a turnover. So really their offense hasn't done much of anything, and their defense obviously hasn't done much of anything either as they find themselves down 28-7. to So Rodgers here is going to find Gordon on the right side, and he's got some space, a lot of space. He's out across the 50, misses a stiff arm, doesn't matter. He's across the 30, tackled, out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Huge gain right there. Now Rodgers is going to pitch to Gordon on fourth and one, and he's not going to get it. Gordon can't make something out of nothing. And that is a three-yard loss, giving the ball back to the Jaguars. And now Marshall handing off to Jay Jones here right out of the shotgun. And Jones is going to take this one up the left side, and he is tackled at the 45-yard line. A big gain for Jay Jones. And he is continuing his phenomenal season and his phenomenal career as he's up to, I'm pretty sure he's up to close to almost uh, 3,000 yards rushing for his career, which is absolutely amazing. As you'll see, Billy Cooper getting a 16-yard reception there on the check down. His second catch of the day. And that would set up this field goal by Logan Gunn. And he is going to squeak this one in 
on the uh, right inside the right pylon, and that is going to be good. Makes it 31-7 Jaguars. As you'll see, TCU is continuing to beat Texas Tech. That is something we need to see happen. 21-7, 6.54 remaining in the third. We'll keep an eye on that one. We'll see if TCU can indeed pull off that upset. So third down and four here for Chandler Rogers, and he is back to – he's not back to pass. He is going to take this one on the read option, and he is going to get 15 yards right there. Chandler Rogers on the speed option. Now first down and 10. Rogers back to pass, and he is going to step up. Fire, and it's caught by Mayhew, and he is going to get into the end zone untouched right there. 54 yards for Rashad Mayhew, and that makes it – 31-13, they miss a two-point conversion. And now Trey Fenner's into the game after Bilal Marshall got hurt, actually. Um, so Marshall's out for the rest of the game. And Fenner's not doing what he's supposed to be doing, and that's holding on to the ball as he fumbles right there on the read option, giving the ball back to Arkansas State. Now third down and 10, Chandler Rogers is back to pass, and he is going to get intercepted right there. That is one of the Fuller brothers, and he is going to take this one out around the 40-yard line. A big turnover right there. And we would get a field goal attempt out of that. And Logan Gunn's field goal is up and just inside the left pylon. His second field goal of the day is good. Makes it 34-13 South Alabama. Now here with five seconds left in the third quarter. Trey Fetner is going to keep this one. And he has fumbled right there. He fumbles. And it's picked up by Arkansas State. The third turnover of the day for South Alabama. Two of them by Trey Fetner in the third quarter. So definitely some disappointing play uh, from our backup quarterback. But nonetheless, we have a 34-13 lead. Nothing to worry too much about. We're well on our way to 9-0 as we get a third down and 10 now for Arkansas State. Rodgers is back to pass, and he is going to fire on the left side and finds Rashad Mayhew. Excuse me for yawning. There's a 20-yard reception for Rashad Mayhew. And now here on third down and 10, Chandler Rogers in the shotgun. He's back to pass, looking on the screenplay for Daniels. And he has some room up the right sideline. He's out across the 10. He is down inside the 5 to about the 3-yard line. Now first down and goal, Chandler Rogers is going to take this one into the end zone. He's going to walk into the end zone, really, untouched. 3-yard touchdown run for Chandler Rogers as that makes it 34-20 to 20 now. And now Trey Fetner is back to pass, and he is going deep. He's got a man. It's Chavarez Smith. And he is going to get into the end zone right there. Big reception, 57 yards for Javarez Smith. As you'll see, Trey Fender with his first touchdown of the game. Now second down and five here for Chandler Rogers in Arkansas State. And he is going to find Griswold right there. We got about 540 remaining in his ball game. But Arkansas State is not giving up, even though they were down by 21 at that point. 70-yard reception right there is Chandler Rogers with his second touchdown pass of the day. Now 41-27 is your score. Fetner back to pass, and he's going deep again. It is Dejan Funderbunk, 38 yards on the catch right there for Funderbunk. And now here we go, first down and 10. Fetner back to pass. He is going to go ahead and roll to his right side, and he's going to fire and find Matt Harris, who's going to get in the end zone for the 22-yard touchdown catch. And that is his first touchdown of the day. Trey Fetner with his second touchdown toss of the day. As you'll see, Matt Harris going to get the touchdown right there. Makes it 48-27. to and that is going to be your ball game. The South Alabama Jaguars, who I think we started the season ranked, oh, I don't know, something like 60th. We're up to number three in the country. We're 9-0, and and we have really surprised everyone, including myself. So, anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Jay Jones is your player of the game with 149 yards rushing and a pair of touchdowns. So, anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.